which you guys got another video on how to display the system resource usage on Windows 11 taskbar. Just like you can see right here down in the bottom right hand side, you can have your network display, also CPU and memory, and some other things by using the traffic monitor. This is a free tool that you can download from the GitHub. It is in Chinese, the website, I have translated it here, but it works perfectly fine and you will need to download the latest support for Visual C++ redistribution packages from Microsoft. There is a link on his website right there. This will also give you network speed monitoring, CPU and memory utilization. So you can see their CPU, graphics card, hard disk, motherboard temperatures, monitoring, all that sort of stuff. You can monitor the CPU frequency, graphics card utilization monitoring, all your hard disk utilization monitoring, network details. And it also has a plug-in system on here as well. Now there's quite a few ways of going about doing this. Uh, there's other options available, but this is one I stumbled on and I thought I'd give it a, a quick go to show you. There's some key features there, as you can see. And we also have some instructions right here. There's a wiki page about it as well. And there's some screenshots available to you. Obviously these are in Chinese, but again, uh, you, these will be in English when you install it on your PC, as you'll see in a second. So let's go ahead and what we'll do is we'll download this and we'll get it set up on this system. I think it works on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So you just need to click on the latest right here and there is a section right here saying uh, traffic monitor and there is the ARM64 and you can see also the X64 as well and X86 if you're running a 32-bit operating system. There's a light version and a standard version. We're going to install the standard version on the x64 I'm going to extract the folder right here and there we go that's now done and what we're going to do is go inside here and there's a bunch of stuff inside here as you can see there's a couple of files there open hardware monitor and there's also the uh, libra hardware monitor here there's a bunch of folders inside here that are in chinese but you can see here logo is right here as well so there's your skins so let's go ahead and start the traffic monitor.exe file we're going to click on more info and we're going to run this anyway. It's just because the file has not been uh, licensed and that is the reason why it says unknown, which is pretty common. And there is the actual main app right here. This can be customized as well. You can right click on this and this will give you some uh, access to options and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and go into the options settings and take a look here. I'll try and go through here as much as I can so you can see some of the options available you've got the text color here if you want to change the text color you can do to whatever you like to match your theme on your computer so this is where you would do it right here you can specify colors for each item as well if you wanted to separate the item colors for the uh, say CPU and GPU you can do that with that little check mark next to it we've got the background color here We've got background uh, transparent, and you can see the background color is right there. You can also uh, got a couple of other options below that as well. If you want to automatically set the background color according to the taskbar color, you can check mark that one as well. And you can auto adapt to Windows 10 dark light themes uh, there as well by check marking that if you're on Windows 10. So next, we have the auto adapt settings right here. I'm going to leave those alone. And you've got the display text right here as well. If you want to change that, you can do. And, and there's a few other things underneath here as well. So just have a little play around. In the display settings, you can do the CPU usage, the download, upload usage, memory usage, total speed, CPU frequency, and total traffic as well, if you wanted to. I'm just going to leave these ones checkmarked here. You can move them up and down the order as well, if you wanted to, by using the buttons on the right-hand side going to click OK, and that's now set. So you can show the mouse tooltip and separate values and unit with space as well. They're checkmarked by default. And there's some options down here like item spacing as well that's set to four pixels. You can change and mess around with this if you want to. I'm going to leave it as is. And there's some other taskbar window settings here as well. So this is on the taskbar window settings pane. And uh, again, this is fully customizable to how you want it to set. And you can see right down the bottom here, you've got GDI and Direct2D as well for backgrounds. And again, you can customize that if you wanted to. So they're the options right here, text color, 
and things like that. Let's go into general settings here quickly. Uh, check for uh, updates at startup. You can have that check there. Also run when Windows starts. You would have that check marked if you want this to turn up onto the taskbar immediately once you start the PC up, which is advisable. And then we also have notification messages right here. You can set it when your traffic has reached a certain amount or you can notify when your CPU temperature has reached a certain temperature right here or the GPU. And you can set these to whatever limits or levels you want to and you'll be notified if it's reached its maximum. Also, we've got the traffic monitoring right here. There's a pop up box here. You can sit here and read that at your own leisure. And you can also check mark it to say in the future, don't show me this dialog box. Click OK. And this will also uh, do hardware monitoring of your CPU, GPU, hard disk and main board. If you wanted to set it up, you can just check mark whatever you like right here. Also, we have advanced area here. Show all network connections right here. If you wanted to do that, you can do. And you can have the based CPU time or use performance counter and other options available. So they're the actual options available. There's your skins part down the bottom there. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. You can spend more time and go through. You won't see the text here because I made the text white, didn't I? So let's go back in and quickly change that to a darker text right here. So underneath here, once you've got it all set, it should look something like this. And I only selected the CPU, the memory, and the network usage for up and down. I didn't put anything else on there, but that's basically what we have right here. And you can hover over it and a little pop-up box will go over the top of it. So quite useful for people that play games within a window so they can actually keep an eye on their CPU, GPU, and other settings that you want to configure on your taskbar. So again, you can configure this the way you want. I've only just quickly scratched the surface on this, so you can spend more time getting it the way you like and setting it up the way you want on your system so you can have them monitored on your taskbar. So there we go. That is the actual application. It's free to download. It's on GitHub. Uh, give it a go if you fancy having a look at it. There is other ways about doing this as well. I've made videos on those. So if you want to see updated videos on any of this sort of stuff, then let me know in the comment section down below. I just want to quickly show you the actual plugin management area right here. And there's a plugin area right here. You can download more plugins and add them in the plugin management area right there. There is links on there as well, and you can add your own stuff in there. So check it out. The, the link will be in the video description. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support. If you haven't joined our new Discord server, the link will be in the video description. You just click on that, set up an account, and you'll be able to come over there and have a chat and also use the voice chat if you wanted to. Anyway, with that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.